is the biorelativity for North America. The day today is July 23rd, 2024. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Greetings. I am Giuliano. We are the Arcturians. It is interesting to study the uh, relationship between human activity, thoughts, emotions, and uh, other energy expressions in society. And at the same time, study how those thoughts, those actions, <coughs> could potentially affect the biosphere. In other words, the theory of biorelativity suggests that as man becomes more dominant on the planet and controls the planet and all its plants and other species, then the, the thought patterns and the activities and even emotions that are prevalent among the peoples in a country have an effect on the biosphere itself. Thus, if one would see <clears throat> polarization in the political spectrum or in the societal discourse where feelings are running high and there is a great deal of hatred and aggression, then one at the same time might expect that the biosphere could manifest a accompanying reaction to those thoughts to those patterns, to those social uh, expressions. Now, there certainly has been a long history of war and aggression on this planet over the least past 5,000 years. And we could even go back longer to earlier uh, prehistorical civilizations such as Atlantis, which ended catastrophically. The Atlanteans had reached a high level of technology, but their spirituality fell behind and they lost control of their technological military weaponry, which resulted in the overstimulation of high frequency auroral x ray patterns that led to the devastation and destruction of a continent and of a, of a civilization. Theoretically then, if we as planetary healers can transmit calmness and balance and harmony to the biosphere, that would include thoughts of calmness and thoughts of harmony and balance, then we would hope and expect 
that the Gaia would respond with that kind of energetic uh, input. This is in the face of numerous random aggressive events and random uh, inputs of polarizations and imbalances. The evolution, and especially the spiritual evolution of a humanity and of a planet, will demonstrate a closer relationship between the thinking of a people and the response that a planet's biosphere will show. In some cases, the biosphere could reactions may be, may seem unpredictable and even uh, resulting from forces beyond the thought patterns of humanity. This is the nature of planetary history and planetary evolution. However, remember that we are speaking of planetary stages of development, and as mankind seeks unknowingly at this time to evolve from stage one to stage two, then as man approaches stage two, there is a more direct interactive relationship between the thought patterns and the inputs and the manifestation of the biospheric reactions. Please take three deep breaths. and go into a state of relaxation. Go into a state of spiritual relaxation where you are able to access the powers of your higher consciousness, the powers of your expanded self, the, the starseed powers, the planetary healing energies that you so dearly value and wish to maximize as starseeds who are inhabiting Gaia. I, Juliana, send down a corridor of light from my starship Athena directly over each of your rooms who are listening to this meditation. This corridor will provide you with access and traveling abilities that your spirit body will use during this exercise. For I'm inviting you to come to my Starship Athena on the fifth dimension. My Starship Athena is in alignment with the planet Earth over the North Pole. And I have, as I said, downloaded numerous corridors of light for all Arcturian starseeds who are with us today. Allow your spirit body to rise up out of your physical body, your third dimensional body, and come up through your crown chakra and enter the corridor of light and begin and command your spirit body to travel at the speed of thought, the fastest speed that exists in the universe. You arrive 
at the end of the corridor, which is connected to the entry portal of my starship Athena. And you come into the portal down the hallway, feel the energies of my starship, and feel the energies of being on a fifth dimensional Octarian starship. These are expanding energies, activating energies, and highly enjoyable as you feel a freedom from the bonds of being on the third dimension. You walk down the hallway and come to a beautiful entry room called the Gaia Planetary Healing Chamber. Enter that chamber and you immediately come in and see this beautiful holographic image of the planet Earth and it is zoomed in on North America. Take a seat or sit cross-legged around the circle of the planet. And again, go into a second stage of meditation. Taking three deep breaths again. And feel and seek your connection with Gaia. For this planetary healing chamber has accelerated and advanced in, in an, and an advanced energy field which allows the star seeds like yourself to energetically connect with Gaia, the spirit of the earth. We will focus on three requests that need our attention. First, let us zoom in on Canada and on areas in California, in particular Oregon and Northern California, but other areas in the Northwest that are suffering from extreme wildfires. We are saying in particular areas in Oregon, the state of Washington, and the provinces of British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and the Northwest Territories that are exhibiting unusually dry conditions that are allowing these fires to continue to devastate nature there. A white screen appears over these areas. Above the holographic image. And on the white screen, we are going to focus on this affirmation. Create conditions of wet weather that will allow for the immediate extinction of all fires in the areas that we are focusing on today. Focus on that affirmation that we will we'll send to Gaia. Create the weather conditions, the wet weather conditions that will lead to the extinguish, extinction of all fires in the areas that we are expressing and focusing on today. We will go into silence and meditation for 
one minute while we focus using our Arcan thought powers. Listen to this tone as we accelerate your arcane thought power. Oh. screen with this affirmation is filled with the arcane thought powers of you, the planetary healers from Earth. And I, Giuliano, download this affirmation directly into the Earth's feedback loop system, into, into the newosphere, where they will be received with the greatest care and energy. One, two, three, now. We now shift our intention to the San Andreas Fault in the Ring of Fire that is along the coastline of California going up through all of the coasts on the West Coast and even up through Alaska and down through Mexico. And we, again, are going to bring forth this huge white screen over the Andreas Fault, San Andreas Fault, and we will use these thought patterns. Bring balance, harmony, and gentle release of tension to all plates and areas on the San Andreas Fault, which will help to prevent any major earthquakes in the coming months and years. See that affirmation and Use your thought powers to intensify that request in that projection now on the screen. We'll go back into meditation. Oh, intensify, 
the thought powers to bring the balance and harmony to the San Andreas Fault so that only gentle releases of tension along the fault lines will harmlessly occur. And I, Giuliano, download this screen into the Earth's feedback loop system in the newest sphere now. One, two, three. And finally, on our third action, visualize a white screen above North America. And we know that there is a relationship between balance and harmony in the societies in countries of North America. And we know that imbalances and polarizations are creating more suffering and more suffering in nature and in the biosphere from resulting actions and neglect. So we are going to say on this affirmation, create the necessary conditions for removing and balancing and rebalancing polarizations and bringing harmony and wisdom to all areas of North America and we are calling on the wisdom and higher spiritual energy to allow the new spiritual leaders to emerge as soon as possible to accelerate the balance and harmony that is necessary for the survival of North America's biosphere at the highest level. This is a long affirmation, but you have the idea and use your thought patterns and adjust it as you, see, you need fit as you see fit and project this onto the white screen. We'll go back into silence. Know that we are creating a force field of balance and harmony to counter the polarizations and even the ignorance that is now dominating much of the atmospheres in North America. Oh. And this powerful energy and energy field that we have created that helps to maximize wisdom balance and higher spiritual light is now downloaded with the screen into the newest sphere and into the Earth's feedback loop system now. And so it shall be. It's time to leave the Gaia Planetary Chamber. Please stand up. Gently walk out of the room. Down the hallway. And come to the portal from which you came. Enter that corridor of light. And travel now at the speed of thought back to your earth body. Where you arrive, 
six feet above your physical body, you re-enter in perfect alignment using the corridor of light that I had originally sent down to you to guide your spirit body back comfortably and energetically into the physical body, bringing you light, calmness, and higher spiritual light. I am Giuliano. Good day.